Hello, <clears throat> and welcome to the mothership. I'm going to try not to be real loud. Hello, and welcome to the mothership. <coughs> Excuse me. I am your commander, Dick motherfucking Tracy. Welcome to the lounge area of the mothership where we do s satanic rituals. And here we have the, the phantom and a skull and my wild fish that I caught. Hey, this episode of Christmas time and the May Lou Ron Mail Run, this is officially, the, we'll call this the 13th episode of the May Lou Ron Mail Run, but this really is a Christmas present. And this is a Christmas present, this is a Christmas present from our friend, John, at the Super Awesome Geek Show. I'm just checking the door. Lax pretty, I'm in the actual mothership and the main entrance is over here. So since I'm not in the war room, you'll see me like, check it. Cause I'm a paranoid motherfucker. Anyway, Super John, I have a box for you. I didn't mean it as a Christmas present, uh, but man, I, there are not words. I can't believe you would even think about old Lack and be like, oh, I, let's give Lack a Christmas present. That's so fucking cool, man. And you have no idea how much I actually, that made my day. And I probably should wait till Christmas, but I can't stand it. I have a secret Santa to open also. Uh, which I, I was instructed not to wait till Christmas. So that video will drop later. Uh, but you know what? My day wasn't going great, and now it's going better. And I talked to a friend of mine, and I'm feeling a little bit better. And then this, I saw the mailman, who's a cool motherfucker, and he brought me this, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, man. Anyway, Super John, that you are super. You are super awesome. Uh, this opening Christmas special is brought to you by, <laughs> did you hear that dog? Hey, this opening is brought to you by Chicago Cutlery, the greatest kitchen knives ever made. If y'all are ever anywhere and you see a wooden handle knife that looks like this with three rivets on it, uh, that's the dog next door barking at my dog. If y'all see a knife like this, this one's really old, you can't see it anymore. But on this handle, it'll say Chicago Cutlery. And on the blade, it used to say Chicago Cutlery, but this one doesn't. But anyway, Chicago Cutlery is the greatest kitchen knife ever made. If y'all find these, get them. But make sure it says Chicago Cutlery, because there's a lot of copies of these that look just like this with the three rivets and everything. But if it doesn't say it, then don't fucking worry about it, because it's probably not it. So, Old Hickory Knives and Chicago Cutlery Knives, those are the best knives, you guys. I mean, for, for living in the wilderness, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm not like a Spydaco carrying fucking 101st Airborne fucking commando, you know what I mean? I'm just a little Indian. I'm just a little Indian. So, um, I'm serious. My first, my first, um, I almost fucking cried when I picked this box up and I know it and I saw it. Now, Super John said, hey, I'm sending you something. Like, he said all that. So it's not like it was just unbeknownst, but I have to tell you something, brother. I almost fucking teared up when I saw this box, all right? Now, hold on. Let me open this and get it all... Because I'm, I'm trying to open it, and but not, like, ruin the surprise for myself. Does that make sense? I also very, very carefully, very carefully opened it from the bottom. I hope nobody minds. Lack usually opens his boxes from the bottom because it all else fails... Oh, wow. If all else fails, I won't show my address, I guess. That's why I 
open boxes from the bottom. But I just open that from the bottom, and I fucking flipped it. And I also do that because I want to keep the address, John, which I have John's address, but I want to... It's already typed right there. <laughs> there are no words. Uh... Oh, wow. Let me read this real quick privately. <coughs> wow. 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 <laughs> uh, John? I'm not gonna read this card, but I tell you one thing. I love you, brother. And like, uh, it says, hey, hey, Lack, the Lack Attack. I'm very thankful for you, my friend, and I'm, I'm glad we met this past year. And then it goes on to say some nice shit that I can't probably say out loud, only because I, I can't handle it. Uh, Collecting with Cool just messaged me. What's up, brother? Hope you're watching this. Get back over here so you can see this artwork over there. Uh, and it looks like the dorky Viking also messaged me too. How you doing, brother? Um. Wow, I'm fucking gonna cry just by looking at sentim sentimental studios. Super John, nobody's written me a card. I'm just gonna flash this real quick. Nobody has written me a card that fucking long since like ever. So thank you. You uh. Thank you, brother. I don't know what this is. I do not know what this is, but I like it. And it's silky. It's silky feeling. It is silky. What is this, you guys? This feels like fucking silk underwear. This is packing material now? I'm, I'm, I'm saving that. That's way better than packing peanuts. Oh, look. I have a limited edition Super Awesome Geek Show button. And I'm pretty sure that's the Beast. I mean, right? That's not Kelsey Grammer Beast, but that's the Beast, right? That's fucking cool. Let me see. Which side? The shit's backwards in the camera, so it looks... I was watching somebody do like a live diorama the other day and it looked really, they were doing it facing the opposite. Oh, that glare's gonna be bad, huh? They were doing it facing the camera, you know, and it looked really good except that it was kind of backwards and I could tell that they were looking at it in a thing. It was still great. John, you crazy, mo oh wow, look. So check this out. I like, how did he know, how did John know that I like Triceratops, dinosaurs? Which I guess this is actually not. When I was a kid, they only had a Triceratops. Now they have these, apparently there's a whole family, different genuses or whatever. I didn't, they didn't have that much in school when I went to school. I really fucked, I fucking, ha hey, nobody hammered their life flatter than shit than lack. Super John, I fucking love you, bro. Check this out. I'm not going to tie this off yet, but... Tie this off? What am I doing? Fucking heroin? Uh, look at that. That's cool. And then look, on this side. Awesome. You can call animals with that. You could call coyotes to come eat something. Or you could call some geese with that balloon. Uh, I didn't tie this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this balloon yet, but I love it. I love it. And... Dun, da, da, dun, 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 da, da, da. Y'all, this is... This is pro I mean, I don't know. This is the coolest intro on the internet. It's fucking awesome. A lot of people out there try, but like, dude, he's got it all. You got it all, John. You're, you know, the only thing you're missing... Well, you're, you're a tiny bit older than me. And, of course, there's a billion shows. But, actually, no, you're not missing anything. I want I do want an intro like yours, John, but I want to do all the shit that you've not missed, but 
like all the other shit, like like Cowboys of Moo Mesa. And uh, do you have Dino Riders on your intro? I also want John Wayne telling us something like "Saddle up." I don't know something. I don't know anything about editing. Do y'all like my Dick Tracy? Do y'all like my Dick Tracy shit I got going? I'm not even showing you what's going on. Look at this. So in the war room where we, this is me and my, that's me and my dad. That's my dad, and then that's me as a, I don't even know, and we're at Cathedral Lakes in Colorado, which is a famous place where people hike. I think that's the name of it. So anyway, when I get back to the war room, I'm going to put this behind me on the shelf where people can see it. I'm like, I don't have any merch or stickers or anything yet, John, but when I do, brother, like, I'm, I, I kind of see what's going on here, but John, you're going to make me cry, motherfucker. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here, you guys. Whoa, I've never even seen this. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Holy shit. S Super John. What the fuck, man? This is the coolest thing. Oh my god, did you hear that noise? This is the coolest thing I've ever fucking been a part of, brother. Oh my god, there's more underneath here. Oh wow, look, there's an infinity reflection. And y'all can see I got the camera sitting in the... John. Oh my gosh. I, I think I've seen this Chewbacca figure before. I've seen that figure. But I have not, I didn't know where it came from or anything. Boy, he's tall too. Look at that. That's so cool. He's fucking like scaled, right? Holy shit, John. And then there's a comic. What's this comic? It's uh, 7707. What, what? It's a, I see what it is, but I was wondering what. Wow, that's so cool. I have no, I've never owned a comic two pack in my life. The first comic two-pack I ever saw when I was a kid was the IG-88 Boba Fett, uh, the Versus thing or whatever. And I always wanted that, and like I never got it, you know? I've never, I've never, that's the only one I've ever seen in real life, too, was that one. I've never seen, I've never held a comic two-pack in my life. That's so fucking cool, John. And fucking like Han and Chewie, brother. Fucking man. That's a cool team. Regardless of what anybody, like, you know, I love Han Solo. He's, I think Han Solo, I mean, he, Han Solo has his flaws. I don't love him, but. And I'm talking our Han Solo, not anybody else's Han Solo. Ours, that we knew between the years of 1977 and 1997 or whatever. Everybody says Solo shot first, and, like, that, it's not, that's not accurate either. You know why? Because there, nobody shot first because Han's the only one that shot. He's the only one that even shot. If you want to get technical, like Han, Han shooting first, I I see what you're saying, but nobody shot, El, nobody else shot. Han just fucking shot that motherfucker. He didn't just shoot him, but like, if y'all remember uh, Tuco, from, he said if you're gonna shoot, shoot, don't talk. Too bad nobody told Greedo that. This is fucking cool. I'm never opening this, John. I'm never opening this, and I'm never selling it. And I might, and if you ever come to Pensacola, I'm going to get you to autograph the back of it. I'm going to get you to autograph this. Nobody's ever fucking given me anything hardly in my life, brother. That's awesome. Look at this. Now what? Okay, here's a cool comic. Oh, look, Holocron Legacy Galactic Star Cruiser. That's cool. Oh, and, uh. Aura Singh. Aura Singh's fucking cool as fuck. This is awesome. John, am I supposed to read these? Or or am I, am I supposed to read these, John? Or am I supposed to put these in a safe? 
I, I'm just asking because I because I, I don't know, you know, because I don't know. Star Wars: The High Republic. This is awesome too. I've never seen this. I've heard of Holocron Legacy. I think probably Star Wars Obsessed. I talked about it in his review of the Galactic Star Cruiser that him and Gary went on, which is probably the best review, by the way, on YouTube of the Star Galactic Star Cruiser. Um, fucking go watch Star Wars Obsessed uh, and his old man Gary. Because, like, that's got to be the most honest review, I think, you know. I also, like, I can't remember his name now. What's his name? He's not in our community. What's his name? Like, the Star Wars dad or whatever? That young dude who went to the... He went to the star place with his kid and with, like, four friends. Do y'all remember him? He has a pretty good review. But you can tell because he's with kids and shit. Like, he's trying to... He's trying to make it a good time because he has kids. And, like... To be honest with y'all, the first time I go to anything like that, I don't want to take my kids. Like my kid, a my kids are too young, I think, to even enjoy anything about it. But about Disney World at all. But like, dude, we're gonna go to fucking party. It's like fucking Star Wars obsessed and Gary. Like we don't want to go hang out with. We're not taking the fucking kids. Oh hey, keep on collecting. Just message me on Instagram. What's happening, brother? I've never seen, High Republic, was this a video game also? I, I recognize the name High Republic, but I, I don't, this is cool. John, I'm going to message you, but you make sure to tell me, do I read these or do I put them in a vault and keep them? I'm just asking, I love this. I'll frame this motherfucker. This is getting some sort of, I don't know what you call them, clam, this is getting a clamshell. And going on the wall. Preferably behind me somewhere where y'all can see it when I'm filming. But if the glare is bad. You know I don't. But. Super John. You're a fucking cool motherfucker dude. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate your fucking channel. And I appreciate. God damn man. Like you are a knowledgeable motherfucker. And not only are you knowledgeable. But. You love it. And I just want to say that publicly. Like, the love, and I don't mean that like in a weird hippy dippy way, but like, dude, you fucking really love that shit. You love it. And that fucking is awesome. You could show me your collection of fucking dirt clods, dude, or you could show me your collection of fucking insects. But the fact, what I, my point is, is that you love it so much. It's fucking cool. And it's not a collection of fucking, you know, mid-African fucking shit beetle fucking dung balls. You know, it is fucking really cool shit. So that makes it even better. Wow. This is... I got Super John's fucking... This is fucking cool, too. I have a couple little dinosaurs I keep around. Triceratops is probably... Or whatever these are called... Right, this is obviously not a triceratops because he doesn't have, he has more than three horns. But these are my top, definitely my top. It may not be, I love those bonehead dinosaurs, the Pachycephalosaurus. Do you remember those in uh, Dino Riders? When they were like crushing the boulders and they. I think that's my favorite dinosaur. They call it a, they used, in 1986. Seven, they called it a Pachycephalosaurus. I don't know if they call it that now. Because obviously there's a, a... My old lady told me the other day that there's no such thing as a Brontosaurus. I said, get the fuck out of here. What? They said, oh no, they realized that they were wrong. And blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, so what? They're not blue either? You motherfucking Fisher-Price cocksuckers. Anyway, Super John... <laughs> Who's super cute and loved as can be, and who's always a lot of fun? It's you, Super John. It's fucking you, baby. Hang in there, kitty. <laughs> who's wished the happiest Christmas yet? And then it says, sweet girl. Of course. You're the one. Enjoy your day. Aww. I love you, baby. I love ya. Who loves ya, baby? If I had a shaved head and a fucking... 
lollipop. I'd be really cool when I said that, huh? But otherwise, I just sounded weird. Uh, hey, this has been a very, very, very merry pre-Christmas that I needed wholeheartedly. Here's the Phantom, and here's a skull, and here's uh, Star Wars Gonzo, and a bear, which could be Fozzie, and then there's Genghis Frog. But look, I took Gar look, I took Garandan, and I cut his hood off, and I put a helmet on him, and I put the Ponda Baba vest on him, and and I called him Gonzo, and then because I don't really have any Muppet, my kid loves. He's just gotten into figures. And I can't find him any Muppet ones, so I buy him Sesame Street ones, you know, which he, that's, mm, Sesame Street's not that fucking cool. But so I made him a Gonzo, and I told him, I said, here's Gonzo. And then here's Genghis Frog from TMNT, right? But he don't know who that is, so I told him, hey, here's Kermit. And he fucking, he, when he, I say, where's Kermit? He goes, yeah! You know how Kermit goes, yeah! He does that. But So this is not, in Black's house, this is not Genghis Frog. This is Kermit. And this is not Garen Dan with Ponda Baba's vest and Rebel Alliance helmet. Check it. And now for a feat of daring lunacy. If this guy, if he was painted white and he had like a cape. You know, if he was painted like Evil Knievel, like, motherfucker, that's... That's, um... You know, that's Gonzo, ain't it? Let me see, I'm trying to fucking make sure y'all don't... Or, I don't know how to do this, you guys. But yeah, look, that's motherfucking Gonzo, son. That's how you do it. You do it like this, put it in front of your eye. Gonzo. And there's Kermit the Frog. Anyway, this has been 22 minutes of Merry fucking Christmas. And, and Super John, you are indeed the most super awesome geek in, in the world. And I enjoy your content. I enjoy everything, brother. And your friendship is very dear to me. And this, what you did here... I don't have words for it. I don't have words for it, and I appreciate it. And Merry Christmas. I have a box. I have a box that I need to ship out to you, and it probably won't make it there t before Christmas. And I'm very sorry about that. I I'm bad at those things. <laughs> I forget loved ones' birthdays and shit sometimes. I'm fucking really bad. I'm a bad guy. I guess I don't know. But anyway, I appreciate you. And there's a lot of people out there in the community. You know who you are. I appreciate you too. But this is about Super John. Super awesome geek show. With my beast button. My card that made me cry. Some Aura Singh sexiness. Some High Republicness. And the piece de resistance. This comic two pack. I could tell you more about it if I knew shit. But this is from all intents and purposes. Star Wars number three. Comic two pack. And I imagine... Star Wars number three is obviously this part in the fucking story, right? In the trilogy saga. You know, where he's in this and bam bang. But he <clears throat> he never had his crossbow in A New Hope on the Death Star, right? So maybe, I don't know. But I'm going to find a clamshell or whatever. And then if I ever see you in person, Super John, I'm going to get you to autograph this. I'm going to put a bit... I mean, you're autographing this because I'm not reselling this. <laughs> And it's going to be, even if I did, by the time we're all old and gray, it's going to say, somebody's going to be like, oh, you knew Super Awesome Geek John? Super Awesome Geek Show John? I go to toy stores and I tell them, I say, are you in the community? Oh, you don't know Super Awesome Geek John? What are you doing working in a toy store? Trash. No, I'm kidding. I don't actually do that. But I say, oh, are you in the community? And if they don't, if they don't know... Super Awesome Geek Show, or if they don't know, like, Blue Harvest Toys, or if they don't know what the Pala Boys are, or something. If they can't tell me anything about anything, I'm not going to buy anything from them. Anyway, hey. This has been... This has been General Black Sivrak, as Dick Tracy, saying...
All right, I'll be right there, Chief. Super Awesome Geek Show. I love you, brother. Merry Christmas to everybody. We're going to have another opening for the Blue Harvest Mark, Secret Santa. And my Secret Santa is Cold Bay Games, so it's obviously not that secret. Uh, and I also have a Christmas card to open from um, Stu at My Collecting Life. No, Universal Collector. His channel is Universal Collector. But the show he's on that he does is called My Collecting Life. So it's confusing, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Love you, Stu. Super Awesome Geek Show. You're the best, man. Merry Christmas. Love you, bro.